And now here on the program, let's move into the sports and the loss segment. Steve Moskowitz is here. By now you've heard this story. Uh, the Blade Runner, the Olympic sprinter, Oscar Pistorius, South Africa, allegedly killing his model girlfriend, Riva Steenkamp. And uh, Steve Moskowitz is going to try to make some sense out of this case. First of all, Oscar Pistorius being charged with premeditated murder. Why premeditated murder? That's important. First, the South African system is different than ours. For bail, if you're in for premeditated murder, they'll only let you out on bail in what they call, quote, exceptional, extraordinary circumstances. In the States, the bail requirement is you're not a danger to yourself or anybody else and you're not a flight risk. Big difference. Secondly, although South Africa doesn't have the death penalty, premeditated murder covers an a conviction covers an absolute mandatory life sentence. However, later on, after you've served 20, 25 years, you can have it reserved because as you start going down in the classes, the punishment gets less. All right, so is this a normal tact? Is this the right charge for prosecution to go for the home run, eventually maybe bring it down? Normally, There's room for negotiation? Normally what prosecution does is they charge everything they possibly can. There's a whole bunch of charges. And then if you want to do a settlement, you see a lot of things whittle away. And typically in a case, things begin to whittle away. Defense is claiming this is self-defense. Pistorius is in his uh, apartment, hears some noises coming from the bathroom. All he was doing was protecting himself. The guy has artificial legs. He knows his girlfriend wasn't in the bed with him at the time. Is this the right defense to say that this guy was only acting in self-defense? Well, that's what he's saying, but the problem is anybody that knows anything about a firearm knows you don't fire at something you can't see. And even if the bad guy was in the bathroom, you take cover, call the police, and even if the bad guy was there, he could have the girlfriend by the throat. You don't just fire through a door. That's really bad. And then he also used a cricket bat to somehow break into that bathroom area. How, that becomes part of the crime scene, and, and how does that play into this case? Well, it's a problem because then you may be unsettling things of the crime scene. What he should have done was take cover, cover the door, call the police, let them come in, do their job. But I'm afraid he has a gun. I'm afraid he's going to shoot All me. All the more reason you take cover and also... What if the bad guy has the girlfriend there, you fire, you can hit the girlfriend. That's what happened here. Now, he claims he thought it was the intruder. You don't shoot at something that you can't see. Another area of this case, lead investigator in this case, is now being charged with murder in a previous case, I believe from 2011. How does that cloud the investigation? Very badly. Normally, the investigation <laughs> team, much less the head of it, is not up for their own attempted murder case. And that charge is flipped back and forth because it was brought before, it was dropped, and now it came back. There's a lot of problems. And the guy had some bad excuses. They contaminated the crime scene. They didn't wear the booties, they didn't wear the gloves. And his excuse was, we didn't have any. That is a <laughs> horrible excuse because defense comes and say, wait a minute, you contaminated the crime scene. And chain of evidence, crime scene, that's a big deal in criminal defense. In a high profile case like this, everyone will know who Oscar Pistorius is. I have less than a minute. Do you let him out on bail? Well, that's a toughie. Again, under our system, he'd have a better chance because the more well-known you are, the more difficult it is to hide in some place. And again, it's you're not a flight risk and you're not a danger. Over there, their law is different than ours. Theirs is it has to be extraordinary circumstances. It's actually more difficult for him to get out than it would be here. I only have 20 seconds in this one. This new investigator, do things start from the square one, or does he have to catch up for where the investigation is? Both, because the problem is the defense is going to say, hey, wait a minute. The investigators fouled up the crime scene. The evidence is no good. Evidence is no good. Case gets dismissed. Steve Moskowitz, he's the best attorney in town. He joins us every week right here at Chronicle Live. Sportsnet Central is next.